Are you tired of a workplace culture in which employees have to grovel both to get a job and to keep it? Do you want to reprogram workplace structure with reskill workers where remote workers and freelancers are accepted? Every generation has a different approach to the workplace. While the talk over the last decade revolved mainly on the work attitudes and habits of millennials, it's now time for a new generation to enter into the mix. The belief is that Gen Z can fix the broken workplace structure and shift the power dynamic but can they do so? Hi everyone, I'm Madame Lopinar and today I'll talk about how Gen Z fits into the workplace and how they are reprogramming the structure. Don't let the fear of losing be greater than the excitement of winning. Generation Z, also known as Gen Z or iGen, refers to the youngest, largest, and most ethnically diverse generation in American history, comprising 27% of the US population. Following the millennials, Gen Z is anyone born after 97. This generation grew up with technology, the internet, and social media, and the oldest among them are already entering the workforce and starting their young careers. As they enter the workforce, they are bringing change challenging the workplace structure and creating new demands in the labor force. With this in mind, in today's episode, I will take you through how Gen Z fits in a workplace and ways in which they can fix the broken workplace structure. But before I provide you with this information, I want you to leave a comment below sharing how your encounter with the Gen Z in the workplace and how you believe they can impact the workplace structure. Bad view of the workforce. Gen Zers, from the experiences of their parents, siblings, and older peers, are aware of how broken the workforce is today. They see companies treat employees like irrelevant cogs in a machine while claiming to promote a great culture. But as much as they want nothing to do with the workforce, they cannot opt out. Instead, they're changing the employer-employee dynamic and introducing a better direct-to-consumer technology. Lack of adapt or die perspective. Gen Z does not take an adapt or die view of the workplace. They are not ready to let broken culture slide as they do not share the bias that corporate masters hold the keys to good pay, job security, and benefits. They won't put up with executives, CEOs, owners, and hiring managers that do not treat employees right. Moreover, they grew up or in an era of available technology that makes starting a business relatively easy. According to the belief of Jamie Kasap, Google's chief education evangelist, Gen Z will be the one to fix the broken workplace structure. Reskilling is vital for employees, especially with the growing trend of job automation. While the vast majority of employees belong to other generations feel that it's the responsibility of employers to reskill their staff, the Gen Z are more likely to seek out training schemes and self-development. Gen Z managers, unlike their elders, place future planning in the workforce as a top priority. They have more potential of promoting and investing in the technology needed for a remote workforce. Gen Z managers tend to embrace remote working for their employees and they're more likely to increase the use of freelancers. This is pretty much how Gen Z fits into the workplace and how they can positively reshape the broken workplace structure. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Hi everyone, this is Matt Damlapunar. Do you know the difference between data analytics, machine learning, or artificial intelligence? And how your daily life gets affected with any of those? So you can find out it in the Analytics of Life, which is available at Amazon Kindle Store. Good luck, and I hope you enjoy reading it. Take care.